Terence McKenna had a lot of interesting ideas, to say the least. <laughs> okay, and and one of his most interesting ideas, in my opinion, and one I actually agree with and find very reasonable is the idea that mushrooms are alien technology sent to humans in particular in order for humans to be able to communicate with them. Now, why do I think this is actually reasonable? Why do I think that this idea is plausible, is reasonable, uh, and is probably true, or there is a great, great truth in it, is because <laughs> almost every time I take a, a big, or at least a therapeutic dose of, of psychedelics, I have a totally open line of communication with non-physical entities and it is like it's so easy like it's just like picking up the phone and calling a friend of yours it's it's that easy if I take myself out to the woods I eat three grams or I take a tab of acid. That's basically me picking up the phone and, and making the call. And it's then it's so easy. Like it's 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 hard for me to describe. But you know exactly who you're talking to. You know that everything you're you're receiving is coming from that particular entity it, it can be an angel a, a, a certain angel like one trip I had a phone call with angel Gabriel you know if it's your guides you can even get information about your guides the name of your guides uh, you can get information about your past lives if your guides are willing to give it, if they think it's in your best interest. But the, the, the communication is so, it's so clear. And it's so, it's just so natural. It's like talking to your friends, your physical friends. And I'm not the only one that reports these uh, experiences. Uh, many, many, many people who partake in... Uh, the ingestion of psilocybin or any psychedelic not just once or twice but you know over the period of time over the course of time repeated use you can become more experienced in that realm you know very well what I'm talking about you know that you, you know you're in communion with aliens and, and there is <laughs> there is this weird like you sit right and 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 you're peeking on your trip and your eyes are wide open and lit and your your, your pupils are, are, are like big right <laughs> and you sense the presence of these beings like you sense you sense them you feel them and there is this silence and you could he but you could hear everything and you know like it's it's you just know that you're speaking to other non-physical entities you just know it there's no mistaking it there's no mistaking it and you hear all these revelations like you start to ask questions and you get very 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 precise answers to your questions like extremely precise down to the T you could ask what your mission is your guides these non-physical entities will tell you in as specific of details as you want but you you I mean depending if you ask specifically you will get very specific answers 
it's kind of clear actually to me that psychedelics are alien technology that's not even a question anymore in my mind <clears throat> Terence McKenna might not have gotten everything right let's say but I think he got that one right I think I think that his theory about psychedelics being alien technology I think his theory was that they, they was sent over to us because the it was uh, the the fungus the psilocybin is uh, seems alien to the ecology of of this planet. But if it didn't happen that way, then maybe I don't know. Maybe it, there was some because I mean the whole planet is an intervention anyway. Right, it, it's an experiment anyway. I mean, so many alien species came to the planet and and, and sort of did their experimentation here. You could see it because we have s such variety of species on the planet. Like you look at the reptiles, and that's basically the byproduct of the experiment experiments of the reptilian race, which comes from the constellation Orion. Then you have the cat species here, which is completely different than the reptiles. And that's a byproduct of the experiments of the Lyrian race, which is a cat-looking humanoids. They, they stand on two, on two feet, but they're, uh, they're cat-looking. They're called the Lyrians. And then humans uh, are supposed to be very closely genetically related to the Pleiadians. So you could see that there is like all these different... Because there's so many different species here. Like, look at the cat species, completely different than reptiles. It's because so many alien, because this whole planet is an experiment. So there's so many extraterrestrials that came down here, the Anunnaki, the gods of the Sumerians. They came down here and they uh, left certain genetic imprints or certain things behind, certain technologies. Psychedelics seems like it, is, it, it has been uh, left over or sent to us. Via very intelligent and very loving, benevolent alien entities. This is why psilocybin rarely gives one a bad trip. Rarely takes one to a dark place, although it can. It can. And the Mayans have used it to commune with very, very dark entities. Okay? So it can be used that way. That's the dark side of psychedelics. But it's a rarity. It's the exception case. Because it really seems to me that they are sent to us or left over here by some alien technology. It's like the phone call. And when you take them, you dialed in the phone call and now you're speaking to these alien entities directly. No mistaking about it. No mistaking about it whatsoever. I talked in previous videos about the mission, the Starseed mission. And uh, in truth, I would not have ever come across this stuff. Right? The Wanderers, the Law of One. Which, by the way, the Law of One, the book, the, the Law of One, which is the channeling of Ra. I don't know if the whole book was channeled. It was channeled by a lady named Carla. I don't know. I, I don't know her last name. She used LSD, at least in the earlier parts of the channeling, to channel this entity raw. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. There you go. And that just shows you that uh, these substances are indeed powerful, powerful ways of channeling extraterrestrial intelligence. And in fact, that's probably their, their purpose here. If everything in nature serves a purpose, then by God, it seems to me that psilocybin mushrooms purpose is for human beings because human beings are the most intelligent species. We're sort of the caretakers on the planet here. We're the highest evolved life form on planet Earth. Well, maybe there are inner beings in the planet here. I mean, I've been really looking into this alien stuff lately. So there seems to be inner beings that are already 4D. But as far as we know, on land, on land, we're the most high, highest evolved life form. So everything in nature is no accident. 
the purpose of psilocybin mushroom is to act as a way to call extraterrestrials. It's a phone call. It's, 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 it is a phone, actually. It is a technology. It is a phone. It is a metaphysical phone in which we can call extraterrestrial intelligence, inquire about the nature of reality, ask them questions. The machine elves, I haven't encountered the machine elves, but some people, it seems that, because what happens often is you pick up the phone and you call back home to your home soul base, wherever that is. And you could call many, many different parts of the cosmos. So some people, I suppose they have, you know, there's a channel 343, I think, that's the name of it. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've seen some of his videos, very entertaining. Uh, and his thing, he, he, maybe that's where he comes from, his soul comes from. He's in touch with the uh, machine elves. I've never encountered the machine elves personally. I guess that's not where, wherever my soul's home base is, that's not with the machine elves. I've never encountered them. Terence McKenna encountered them. And this guy, 343, his channel, that's who he calls when he calls. He, he's in communication with the machine elves. So, it seems to connect you to different parts of the cosmos. And I think wherever your soul has spent a lot of its time, perhaps that's where you make the phone calls. Or where it's most relevant for you to deliver your message and your mission is where the call will be placed. But it's, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? It's pretty obvious. It's, I'm not the only one that reports these experiences. Okay? <laughs> this, the, I would never have come across this wanderer stuff, the law of one, the raw material. In fact, I came across the raw material because I came across with it, the law of one recently because of, a, of an LSD trip. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the LSD trip somehow led me on that very same day led me to the law of one okay so because i uh, i had during that trip i spoke to uh my fellow friends back home and uh on that very same day they directed me to the law of one to the book to the law of one and i started listening to it while i was tripping and i was like what the fuck this this all makes perfect sense and of course, after that, I just, I, because now the way I use psychedelics, I don't microdose it anymore. I use it in that way. I'll do it once, twice, once a month, once every three months or something. And it'll, I'll have a full out communication with the, with the, with the fam back home. Uh, and then I'll be directed wherever I need to be directed next. And the communication now with these ET with the ETs is coming much easier for me without having to rely on psychedelics because actually the last time I tripped I asked how can I talk to you guys without psychedelics and I got some very very useful insights which I now use in my sober state to be able to commune with these ET entities more often but I had I would not have come across all of this the Starseed mission, the Law of One, the Wanderers, the mission, what I'm here to do, how it all works, the densities, the seven densities, without having uh, stumbled upon psychedelics. Sure, I would have at some point, but it just came sooner than later because I used this technology, this alien technology, Clearly, the purpose of it is for humans to contact non-physical intelligence, period. Period. That's the, that's the purpose of psilocybin mushrooms. That's the purpose of LSD. And in fact, Albert Hoffman was a wanderer. He was a star seed. He was a wanderer. He came here to give us the gift of LSD. He did his job and he left. And, and yeah... So yeah, that's uh, something I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> all right, thank you to all the Patreons for your support. I love you guys. Uh, and <laughs> what else? Yeah, if you would like to join the Patreon family, links are in the description. One-time donations are highly appreciated. 
You can do it via PayPal. Links in the description. Saeed Mobayed at Instagram. I don't know why I'm tapping this. Uh, that's about it. Until next time, may the force be with you.